Good morning, everybody. So I've got some screaming chickens in the background. It's kind of smoky here, so it's hard to see. I'm gonna try my best. It's really nice to be outside. We've been kind of hiding out. I don't know if you can see the smoke and the sun over there. One of my last videos was setting intention to try to have clear air and um, really put out positive energy to help these fires calm down. They're getting pretty close to where we are. There's been pre-evacuation notices. And we've dealt with this, you know, a few years ago, but it's kind of intense. There's been raining ashes for the last couple weeks and just is what it is. So we continue to pray and send blessings to everyone fighting the fires out there right now. But the basis of this video, I really wanted to talk about Finding Dory, the movie Finding Dory. So upon sitting down and deciding that I just felt really called to watch this movie, um, I don't have children of my own other than fur and feathered babies, so I guess I needed that inner child to experience the continuation of Finding Nemo and to hear Dory's unique story. And you easily get the gist of what the movie is going to be like within the next five to ten minutes of it starting. And within those moments, I was completely overwhelmed by sadness. And it just hit me like a ton of bricks that this is a movie portrayed about our own consciousness as our own race within this planetary system within the conscious sea and soup of existence and trying to find our way back to source. So with Finding Dory, as you may all know, Dory suffers from short-term memory loss and that seems to be the only thing that she can remember is that she's looking for her family, she's looking for something that she's lost, and she can remember that, and she can also remember that she does have short-term memory loss, and can easily explain to her other fellow sea buddies and fish buddies what is happening to her on her journey without remembering all the other important details. Upon really feeling the overwhelming amount of sadness from this this video, this movie, I was just overwhelmed by this feeling of being in this dimension, in this reality, where we do live in a state of amnesia, where we're swimming around subconsciously and consciously just struggling in this sense of we we constantly feel alone even though we're not or we constantly have this sense of a bigger purpose that we don't know what that bigger purpose is or a sense that we have more family or that we're missing someone in our lives that we've lost and this has been the truth of the world that we live in today, the dimension that we live in today, and this is why I was so inspired by Finding Dory is this kind of conscious awakening story that explains to us the reality that we are living in. We have simply forgotten the truth of who we are, where we come from, our origins, our, our being, what it feels like to be connected to Source, to be walking in connection constantly with our soul, our soul purpose and spirit. And what that means as us as a whole, as a collective consciousness, as a race, and as we evolve. And Dory swimming around the ocean, swimming around this sea with a purpose, with a knowing that there is something more out there, something that she has forgotten and she can't remember but she is passionate enough about it to work hard at remembering. And this is where the proactive energy comes into play once we become aware that we have forgotten who we are and where we come from, that we start to take action to remember. And the steps 
that are important for us and our own unique story to get ourselves closer to source or closer to the oneness of our body and soul experience and closer to spirit. That way we're not swimming around the ocean aimlessly hoping and searching for something just because we have simply forgotten and we continue to live in this state of amnesia or sadness from feeling alone or uncertain about our purpose or why we're here or where we're going. I think it's good to watch this movie to experience that feeling outside of just seeing a storyline based around a child or a teenager that may be struggling, this, this little fish, and this journey she goes on and all the other goofy characters that play a role in this movie. It's important to remember that we have support even when we think that we don't. And although sometimes people lose faith in us and we lose faith in ourselves, that we will always have people around that will be on the same page or same path or awakening or lightning or family or family that isn't our blood but is our soul connection family and will help guide us or be there for us and that we can continue to share this experience in this journey together just like Dory had Marlon and Nemo to support her and although sometimes losing faith in each other we're able to find the true essence of what it meant to have family and to support each other as a whole as a family and when you look at it as a bigger picture from this smaller perspective of this storyline we as a race as a collective consciousness are all looking to be a part of that bigger family, to be more deeply connected, to be more deeply grounded, supported, cared for, loved, and supporting each other through our struggles, our traumas, our growth, our learning experience, to get back to the essence of who we are and where we come from, so we don't have to constantly live in a place of forgetting towards the end of this movie through Dory's journey and her support with the numerous of people that come to her her side to help to guide and she gets to a place where she starts to remember and her mind wakens up and she uses tips that work for her Dory supports her own unique style of, of growth and enlightenment and what would Dory do? And it poses for us this question of what would we do? And say that we've, we've forgotten or we're on a journey and we need to find this place, find these people, find this knowing. And it's not about always taking the most analytical route or logistic route or linear route or what seems the most responsible in that sense but jumping out of the mundane reality that we're in to experience more spontaneous and creative and innovative innovative ways of achieving that goal of stepping into the fullness of who we are and embracing our own unique story and authentic ability to create the path ahead of us, before us, and to take initiative to just do it, to jump in full steam ahead, to get back to source, to get back to spirit, to find our truth, to find our family, to find that deeper connection. And Dory was able to accomplish this. And the story starts out quite sad with her constantly roaming around the ocean from the innocence of a child lonely and confused to growing into this this new being this more mature version of herself still pushing forward to to find what she has lost to find where she belongs and that's pretty much all we are doing we just want to remember and we get caught up in this mundane world that we're swimming around in circles and this big vast ocean 
and this world that we live in trying to find our purpose, trying to find our place. And throughout the story towards the end, she's able to do that. And that sadness turns into this bliss, this feeling of being whole and being complete. And our journey is so much the same and so similar. And I was just really empowered by the connections that I saw throughout this movie and the world and the dimension that we live in today and the struggle that people go through constantly emotionally and spiritually to find that deeper connection, that family, that purpose, and to remember. And through many tools that we live in and how the expansion and the evolution of how the world is growing and the the tools that we have at hand to help us through many different holistic practices or staying grounded in our gifts and our talents whether you be an artist an engineer a mother or a father the wide range of beings that we are and what we cultivate in this reality that we still have this part of us that is confused or uncertain or unsure all because we have simply forgotten and what it means for us to remember and what it means for you to remember and to find that hidden truth within you to swim through this vast ocean of reality to get back to source to get back to spirit and to feel whole again to have that oneness and I feel like I could talk on this in circles over and over again and I feel that you probably get the idea and it is a awakening for me and the synchronicity of life to find these connections constantly within that first five minutes that overwhelming amount of, amount of sadness that I felt that I got this outer body experience from watching Finding Dory I knew right then and there I wanted to make a video on it and I just needed to share this revelation this connection to pose an analogy and a visual for people to see this is what's really happening to us, what has been happening to us, and also part of our process in awakening and coming out of it and remembering, remembering the truth of who we are and where we come from and where we're headed. So with that, thank you for listening, thank you for watching. Thanks for the support, guys. I'm constantly being inspired by new things that I want to share with you and talk about. And there is a huge collective of people, awakening minds and conscious minds and souls that are sharing this truth and this essence of who we are and our being. And it is such a gift to be on that journey with all of you and to be connected to all of you in a much bigger and beautiful way. Till then, I will continue to share videos later. Peace, guys.